Now still the one is when now uh, kind of my production journey started or uh -huh. rather I realized I can actually do this thing. But it's not, yeah, I'll tell you the story. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so we go to uh, Yulopa. Yulopa. Yulopa Ngoma. Yulopa Ngoma. Yeah. So Yulopa is the one who did still the one. Yep. So the idea came, uh, I think we were rehearsing at Allianz Fonses in the basement down there. Um, and you wanted like a Marvin Gaye kind of song-ish. Mm. Um, I had the progression ready. Um, yeah, and I think, funny enough, Bian had some lyrics that he had written a while back. And he just merged, just trip. And then all of us were in, in, in the studio uh, rehearsing. And we were all like, the band was ready. And just we started jamming. And just started writing. And even the groove was just nice. You know, it's just a very sensual groove. Mm. So like, okay, who should do this song? Who should do this song? So this is now the producer wars that <laughs> artists go through. Mm -hmm. They're like, ah, who should we go to? This guy or this guy or this guy? So we're like, okay, let me, I knew Yulopa before. So like, let me, let me try Yulopa. Let me go. So even at that time, I'm st I was still kind of the one who was in charge of those things. Mm. It's like, there, yeah, let me try Yulopa. So I go to, we go to him. Um, and, you know, I tell him this is the song and everything. So as we are sitting down, as I'm directing him on how I'd want the song to sound, I'm making the track and everything. So I realized that I directed like the whole production without having, without producing myself. Mm, mm. So I was like, okay, maybe if I actually pick this up, I can do it. Because I played even the organ in there, I'm the one who played it, the guitars. Yo. Then Yulopa played, uh, made the beats. The beat, yeah. And the bass line, because he used to be a bassist as well, and put in, put in the bass line. So we arranged the whole song from beginning to end. And it was just fire. And just, it's a, still the one has a very interesting story because we were almost not releasing that song. It was taking too long? No, it was, people had mixed feelings about still the one. In the, within the group? Within the group and also outside. Mm. So, you know how you see- You were radically changing them from, <laughs> there was no more acoustic guitar. No, no more acoustic guitar. Now, now I had picked up the electric, even the, so I played in, in the song the whole thing. Um, so just keep that Marvin Gaye kind of muted feel mm. in the song. And so as we're playing the song to other people, so this time we are now deep into the studio life. So producers and, and, and uh, other artists that are always in studio. So we're always with them. We go to Europe as you find Christoph is there. Kaleche also used to record at that time. Mm. Uh, just many, Kaleche. many artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> many, many artists. <coughs> I think also that's the time Kaleche now started working at Kiss. Kiss yeah. So I remember playing her the song and she loved it so, so much. She was like, wow, this song is amazing. Blah, blah. She even gives her a few ideas on, on some melodies there. Like, yeah, do this, add the oohs here and as there. Like, okay, cool. Then we played it to Aaron, actually. If he remembers, Baldman. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember Aaron was of the opinion that the song was too long and it was changing a lot. Especially the verse where it was like, Nikaimba Lazizi, Lazizi, Soma, Soma, Soma. So he was like, Yeah, this part it may not be necessary. Of course, everyone has their own opinion. Yeah. And respect. And now these things now start getting to you. You're like, ah, we, We're not sure whether this song should be released or not. Uh, let's see how this is going to work. Um, so, I mean, I loved the song. I guess maybe because I was in it from the beginning mm. and I was very much invested in the song. I was like, this song for sure is going to bang. I am 100% sure. So we delayed in releasing. We shot the video with the suits uh, at some house. I don't remember where, Kitusura, I think. Uh, and Alion's Fonses as well. Mm. So shot the video. The video is ready. It looked nice. Enos is the one who shot it. And we're like, yeah. And God really went to the song. But the song was five minutes long. So the one is very long. I think it's five minutes, if I'm not wrong. And that's not what pop. Entails, yes, entails, yeah, yeah. exactly. So Especially before, at that time. <coughs> at that time, exactly. Yeah, at three that minutes, time, 30 seconds. <laughs> that's, <laughs> it. that's it. So we were all very confused. Should we release the song or not? Uh, nah, nah, nah. Then me, I was so adamant about it. It's like, imagine this one has to go out. Me, I'll, I'll, I'll press public on YouTube right now. <laughs> if I have to, it is going out. They're like, no, no, no. So the song went out and it received massive, massive like reviews. We're like, what? 
Like even me, I knew it was a good song. But I loved it exactly, personally, yeah. but I didn't think people would love it that much. Another one for the ladies. South is all. Also, what it did, it kind of cemented in our even at that point, our legacy. Even though we were not really legends mm, at that mm, time, because mm. that you are not one hit wonders. Let's exactly, you are not one it, hit yes, wonders. Yes. And also, an emotional way of you know how in a song you talk about your old songs. Mm. You know, Nikaimba Nikaimba Soma Soma. So it, to the fans, they receive it like, hey, nyewe, I'll say mm. You know. Omefika, <laughs> you know, they've really done their <laughs> yeah. part. Yeah. So that also was a was a very big element in the song. The Marvin Gaye touch was, you know, also very, uh, what's the word? I thought it was a love song. It was a love song. It, it was, it was, yeah. yeah, a proper love song. Tango to Kwe Primo, yeah. to Seko. And those are things that people relate relate with. So the song did so, so well. And it had a maturity kind of vibe yep. for yep. us. It's the, apart from An Eleven Gentleman, it was now the other song that had now beats, beats from beginning to end. Mm. You know, so it, it it was really a great song. And for you, did it make you think, okay, yes, production? Oh yeah. So at this point, I was like, wait a minute. Like, I I've literally played most of these instruments and you know directed the whole thing. I should pick this up as as a production. So I was already saving for a laptop at that point. So I got my laptop, and Savara had already started production. So I picked it up, and this is the time now we are free from Peña. But the office, since they are transitioning into something else, into the Saudi Academy, the studio is open. Mm. The equipment is there. Yeah, I get and it. And we are still friends. So they're like, you guys can go into studio whatever time you want, as long as you don't uh, clash with Saudi Academy. Mm. So we used to go, so now we moved house, first of all, from Buru to Kileleshwa. All of you guys? All of us, uh -huh. again, same house. 
So now a four bedroom house and now Chimano gets the master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> we did that we did a raffle that he lied, he cheated, but it's fine. <laughs> so he got he got the master bedroom. Um and now we're living in Kile. Penya Africa at that point moved to was in uh, Pangani. Mm. So we used to go now after hours, after Saudi Academy hours, we drive. Uh, like around five thirty six, we now go into studio now when all the students are gone. Mm. And now we just chill in studio the whole day for one and a half years. Savara had started production. May picked up now, like maybe a few months later. So now you're learning all aspects of production, mixing, everything mastering from scratch. Effects. Everything. everything. Doing all the like mistakes. It, yeah. All of them. Proudly doing them. <laughs> Without any fear. Just like, oh okay, oh you're not supposed to do this. Oh, okay, so you learn, you learn. At that time YouTube is is is, is like it's, big, so yeah. you can get some stuff from YouTube and stuff. Yeah, so at this point I'm learning but, a but lot. But you're not releasing anything for what you're doing in there? No. So for one and a half years we recorded. In between, what did we release? Nishike, but not it was... So not Nishike, yeah. Nishike was released before... Was it before the album came out? I think so, yeah. And then... So, <laughs> before even we get there. So as we're doing... As we're recording this whole... This is now Live and Die project. Mm. This is now getting into Live and Die in Africa phase. Yes. And even how we decided to do an album was uh, when we sampled now the the sample of Escrave Saura for Living in Africa. So it was an idea that I think uh, Savannah Bian had for a long time to want to sample that 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 song. So we finally got to it, we put the Lele Lele, and then I came up with the progression on, on top of it, uh, progression for the song. Living Using keys, playing keys. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So progression at that point and then yeah then Savara made the, the the drums and the song was born and it was live and die in africa that's actually the first song we did for the album was the theme song itself yeah i wanna be rich i wanna be famous i wanna have lots and lots of money soar above the clouds i wanna be free like nelson mandela Stand tall like a pyramid, so so courageous. No place I'd rather be. Oh na na na, oh na na na. There's no place I'd rather be. Oh na na na. Live and die in Africa. I wanna live and die in Africa. Live and die in Africa. be remembered I wanna go down in history make my mama proud the dark of the berry the sweet of the juice and as a joke in your money much a me lam to more hey, no place I'd rather go And then we're like, hey, so with this you mean, if we are here every night, we can do as many songs as we want and by ourselves without having, and this is now from a lot of over-reliance on other producers mm -hmm. and a lot of disappointments mm. from other producers in, in terms of delivery on time, uh, someone being available, having to fully depend on them and you're just crippled. So this one gave us a freedom that we had never had before. Yeah, okay, and then okay, we're okay. independent. Yeah, we have a, like we have gigs you, that are sustaining us. We're mm -hmm. fine. We can pay our rent. We have food and everything. We just need to be in the studio every day, without fail. That is crazy. <laughs> so that's what this that song did. Literally, yeah. that whole Peña, which yeah. is so good to hear that Peña still gave enabled you. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and gave you that opportunity. Yeah. Okay, I I I want us to go back because. Fine, you're getting all this wonderful love from people uh, through 
through gentleman through uh, money lover so through still, still the one now in fact still the one it's, he, it's, blown it's, up it's at the peak of the yeah, peak proper. but after that you guys go back to the you jump into out of the frying pan and into the fire <laughs> into the fire <laughs> <laughs> like did you know it was going to cause you that much drama yes 